Hey guys, welcome to another video on next generation sequencing um, data analysis. So in this video, so in the last video we installed VDJ tools and in this video we're actually going to start using it on our sequencing data. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, you know we installed it right here. It said you know set up plotting routines. We did all of that. We downloaded all of these uh, um, dependencies and now we just click uh, we can click usage and in usage it's going to show you you know how you can execute VDJ tools. So it says right here, general way to execute VDJ tools is exactly like this. You type in Java, you can add this. Uh, I think this has to do with um, how much of your, um, I think, you know, memory um, it's going to use and uh, minus jar VDJ tools dot jar. The routine name, so what you want to do and you get a list of the routine names by just typing in VDJ tools, like just opening up jar VDJ tools dot jar. No, sorry. Uh, what did I do wrong? Okay, guys, uh, I have actually, I don't know why it's not working uh, by just typing in java.jar um, uh, vdj tools.jar because we added the whole this whole folder right here where the jar file is. We added it to the path. Still, it's, somehow it's not working, but the way it works is if you just copy the jar file and post it anywhere else, it's, you know, if you start it from there, it seems to work. So we'll go ahead and you know, post it now to our home folder. Um, oh, actually that was wrong. Uh, to our home folder right here. It's now, the jar file is now right here. And from here, if we now execute it, uh, java jar vdj tools dot jar, it runs uh, the program. Okay, so in, in, if you had, if you have the same issue, here you go, this is how you solve it. And some, maybe this, uh, this issue didn't come up for you. If you do it like this though, you will always have to, you can't from anywhere just write java uh, jar and then uh, add it because you will have to give the, the location of it. So for instance, if we're in documents, so we change actually to documents. And uh, from here, if I now run VDJ tools, uh, so java jar uh, VDJ tools jar, it's gonna give me the error message again. So what I will have to do is I press arrow up to get the same thing back. Um, I give the location, so the path for the home one can be just the variable home in all capital letters like this, okay? So now this should start it just like normal. Okay, so we will now go back to the documentation, go to usage and start using it. So this is how to use it. You can obviously, I left this out as you saw, but uh, left this out as you saw, but you can you can use it. Um, it just, uh, I think it g g adds how much memory uh, should be used. So let's go ahead and um, do the first thing that you do. The first thing that you should do is import clonotype tables. So you have your data, your aligned data from different sources, right? So we could have it from MyXCR or we can have it from IMGT or there are other uh, tools as well to get to align your immune cell sequencing data. So we used MyXCR in our last example and now we wanna import that into the VDJ tools format. So that's, uh, that's what we want to do to work with it uh, at IMGT. How do you do, do it? How do you do it? It's just convert minus S and add the so software that you use to align your tools. So let's go ahead and do that. We click right here, VDJ tool format. It tells you what the format is. And here are the formats that support it for conversion. My TCR, this is an outdated software that's not really used anymore. But here we go. It should also include my XCR. Um, let's go ahead. There you go. My XCR is right here. So how do you, how do you, uh, run the convert one? You type the option minus S my XCR. And as you saw here as well, IMGT works too. So you can also use the IMGT vquest, um, converter to convert your IMGT files. Um, let's go ahead and do our my XCR now, uh, our my XCR files. We want to use the command that was set, uh, used in the beginning. So go back here. This is how to use it, right? So we open up the tools. We let's just move to our folder, NCBI. Oh no, we're in documents. We have to change back OneDrive now, NCBI public SRA. So here we have lots of new files. If you followed along the video series, you know that we have aligned our three new sequencing data files, file one.txt, file two.txt and file three.txt. Um, and we're gonna continue working with those. You can obviously work with your own aligned uh, sequencing data if you have any. So let's go ahead and run Java. So we run Java. Let's do it exactly like they do it here in their video um, in their tutorial uh, documentation. I mean, um, we'll go jar 
uh, now we have to because we had that issue here on my machine i don't know why but we just type in um the home path and now vdj tools dot jar and convert option so minus for the option and capital s okay what software do we use my xcr um, we don't use metadata, so we just leave that out. This is for metadata is for for you to instead of providing um, names of single files, you could create a file that has in each uh, line in each row um, it has uh, the names of the files. So file one, file two, file three, and then it just goes through the metadata that you provide it with. But we don't have that, uh, so we just write down file one.txt. We can just write file one because we're in the folder where file one is in. If we were anywhere else, we would actually have to give it this path. Okay, so we'd have to write all of this before file one. But we do this like this, and now add the output directory, which is the same one, and give it a name as well. So output name would be, let's say, file one VDJ tools. Press enter, and now it's uh, processing it, and it finished already. And that's it now it's in vdj format so you can repeat the same thing again for file two. Oh, i made a, made a mistake i call it i named it the same same thing so let's go back to for the file one again because the output file was the same so it overwrote our file one vdj tools one so we do this here as well oh now i did another mistake i forgot to change this one now okay so <laughs> now i overwrote it twice in a, in a wrong way but uh here we go Last time for the third one, we named that we renamed the out, uh, the output file to file three, VDJ tools, and the file that's supposed to be converted file three, dot txt. Press enter. Okay, so now we have our converted files. Don't forget we ha we could we were able to just write file two because we were in the folder where file two dot txt is located in. If you're not located in the folder where it is. You have to provide the entire path. So if we were anywhere else to run the same uh, same thing, and we'll, I'll do it as one example, I'm, I'm gonna just go to home. Um, if I want to now uh, execute the same command, right, this one right here, I would have to provide this, sorry, this location where file one is in, okay? Change this. So right here, I paste it. So this is a location and there has to be one more slash. That's the path to file one. And we want the output file to be in the same same folder. So we do the same thing here. And when you press enter, it will uh, run it for you again. You know, I'll press it here again. And it's just gonna do the same thing. Although you're not in that folder, but if you were to not give the ex entire path, this is not gonna work for you. So now we've converted it. Let's go ahead and do our some analysis now. Um, it's in the format, so we can now go to examples and see what are the different examples that we can well, oh actually they have uh, different examples so see you can make these kind of graphs they have now uh, different examples for different types of uh, studies but we're actually going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and just analyze our thing um, our data not their examples so let's go ahead and uh, go uh, go ahead and click on basic analysis right here and here we go so we can click uh, basic uh, st statistics that we can cal calculate with. So these won't really give you, um, I thought this wouldn't give you graphs, but it does uh, apparently here. So graphical output, you can choose to get um, clustering based on variable segment usage, which we've already seen um, in our TCR videos. Our samples are not that diverse. So this graph wouldn't look so diverse, but we're gonna have a look at it anyway. So let's see how to use this, right? Um, calc basic stats. We want to go ahead and type in this right here is the they save the variable to uh, to just don't always have to type in Java jar and then the the path, but we will do it anyway. VDJ tools the jar and we click we write down calc basic stats. And now the options we can provide again metadata if we want to be if we want this to be calculated for several files, which is obviously comes in, in handy if you have a whole folder of files. Then we can we you could do this, um, and you learn how to do stuff like that uh, at Next Generation Sequencing HQ.com, where you learn how to write a pipeline like that to work with 
a lot of files at once. Um, we'll leave the rest in, in the default and we just want so for, oh apparently for this uh, calc basic star there's actually no graph it just gives you a the table with basic statistics but that's fine we 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 want that as well so we we provide it now with uh with the path of the file right if you remember this was the path to our fosq files and we write file one vdj tools that's how we named it you can read it here again and uh, obviously also output prefix you don't have to write down the whole uh whole output name now we just call this basic stats like this oops like this click enter and this will create um oh there was file not found we might have typed something wrong in there okay there you go i, I checked it again the reason why it's wrong is because earlier the name that we chose right here, um, if you, you see it right here, we said the output name should be file one VDJ tools. This was a prefix. Um, so now it said, it says to all of those output files, file one VDJ tools dot and then the actual file name. So that's why right here in this terminal where we just typed it in, it couldn't find it. So we go back and we will call this VD, oops, we'll call this VDJ tools dot file onetxt so now it will find it press enter and it will do the whole calculation so let's go ahead and look inside that file now okay i want to open it up in um, sort of a spreadsheet program it's just easier to view so i go to my file right here and it should have somewhere saying basic statistics um let's go sort it through name um ah it will be saved now in our home folder because I didn't provide here you go I didn't provide the whole um, path so this was accidentally saved here in my home folder but that's fine we'll just open it up because we just want to see right how it how it looks like click OK and here we have the information for this sequencing file if we provide provided more input files, it would have it for all your files. So imagine you have a hundred files, and then you have the summarizing basic stats um, um, for uh, the file right here, where it talks about the diversity. You know, diversity means this this uh, FASTQ file has seven hundred forty eight different clonotypes, but it has actually eighty seven thousand um, sequences in there. But because a lot of these sequences are just the same they're merged together and then you only have 748 so this is not a very diverse sample but we saw it already in our tcr r package video where we looked at the same thing so this is interesting and neat you know um, again if you would have provided more samples it would have them all summarized here in one now let's go ahead and see what else we can uh, what else we can do so this was basic stats now we go ahead and click here to the next one calc segment usage 